A pleasant good morning to you. God is still on the throne. I thank God for that. Uh, in 1 Timothy chapter 3 and verse 1, it says, This is a true saying. If a man desired the office of a bishop, he desired a good work. A bishop uh, then must be blameless, the husband of one wife, vigilant, sober, of good behavior, given to hospitality, apt to teach. Uh, now, in reading this text, it says the bishop, and I'm using bishop to refer to the pastor. It says it must be the husband of one wife. He must be the husband of one wife. Uh, now, uh, some time ago, I had to speak to pastor's wives. They are called shepherdesses. And I asked a question. And the question was, did you choose to marry a pastor? That may sound simplistic, but there are some individuals who didn't marry a pastor. The husband became a pastor after they were married. But there are some who purposely chose to marry a pastor. Now, if you chose to marry a pastor, uh, you have to understand that your task is not a simple and easy one. You are living in a fishbowl. When people evaluate the pastor, they are evaluating you also. Now, let me swing the thing. There are some who did not choose to marry a pastor, like my wife. She didn't choose to marry a pastor. And guess what? When I was making the switch from being a teacher to being a pastor, my wife agreed fully with that. You know where that puts me? It puts me in very good standing to be successful in ministry because my wife agreed when I made a decision to become a pastor. And because of that, it's easy for me to practice ministry because my wife is not pulling and tugging against me. She's happy that I'm involved in gospel ministry. Let me read something uh, that E.G. White says to minister's wives in Gospel Workers, uh, the book Gospel Worker, page 37. He says, if married men go into the work, leaving their wives to care for the children at home, the wife and mother is doing fully as great and important work as is the husband and father. While one is in the missionary field, the other is a home missionary whose cares and anxieties and burdens frequently far exceed those of the husband and father. Her work, that's the minister's wife, her work is a solemn and important one to mold the minds and fashion the character of her children, to train them for usefulness here and to fit them for future immortal life. So in short, I'm saying, pastor's wife, shepherdess, understand that if you are staying at home, a stay-at-home mom, looking after children, your task is just as important as your husband's task. Do it to the best of your ability. God and Father, thanks ever so much for your goodness towards us. Guide us and guide pastor's wives as they cooperate with their husbands uh, to do gospel ministry. In Jesus' name, I thank you. Amen. May God richly bless you.